Hello there ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to another video. Now in this video I'll be showing you how to basically backup these UMD drives into an ISO file so that you don't have to carry these around, you can just store them on your PSP's memory card. So make sure your PSP is fully off because we're going to enter a recovery provided by the custom firmware we installed in the last video. So for this to work, you should have, if you go into system information, you should have 6.61 Pro C Infinity. So that is just here in system information. So when you have that, if you don't, just follow my last video I did on PSP. Just hold the button, turn it off fully. And then what we're going to do now to launch into the recovery, we're going to turn this up and then hold down the triangle and the right stick here at the same time. So just quickly turn it on and then hold those two buttons. And right now we're inside our recovery. What you want to do is go into configuration and then just press X to enter stuff and then these two buttons to navigate. So once you're inside configuration, go into ISO mode and press X. You can keep pressing X to change between different settings. And we want to change it to M33 driver. And then we want to change this option as well, the XM, XMB USB device. All right now it's currently set on the memory stick, but we, we want to change it to UMD. So just keep pressing X until you reach UMD disk. And once you reach that, that's all the settings we need to change. Go back, go back. And now you should be back inside your PSP normal screen. And now what you want to do is put in the disk that you want to back up. So in this case, I'll just back up Lego Batman. So just stick it in like you normally would to play it. And then wait a bit for it to load up inside your games. So it should show up here in a second. UMD disk. Alright. So as you can see, it's showing up now. And now what you want to do is go into USB connection and plug in your USB cable to your phone or to your PC I mean and then click USB connection and now go back to your PC and as you can see here it's gonna be some random numbers that come up that's basically your PSP's drive so mount that and you can open it and as you can see, it's going to be like some random ass name. But if we look at the file size, it is an ISO image, which is what we need to back up. And this one is 1.1 gigabytes in size. So it's going to take a long time to copy. So just copy it from here and copy it into wherever you want your games to be. Now, depending on the size of the game, it's going to take around 20 minutes or so to copy. Um, I won't copy this now for the sake of the video, so I'll just click stop here. And once you're done, you should have the file copied here, so you can just rename it to Lego Batman or whatever. Then you can change this to small letters ISO, since... Um, the rest of my games use small letter, but it doesn't really matter as long as it's ISO at the end. Now I'll actually just delete this one. So once you copy it over, your game fully, then you just go back here, and then you can turn off your PSP once again, because we need to change the settings back, because otherwise it's going to cause problems for us later on. 
So once that's off, remove the UMD drive. And then we're going to go back into the recovery once again. So turn it on, then hold triangle and the right stick at the same time. And keep holding it until you see the recovery menu. There we go. Now once again, go back to configuration. And make sure the ISO is ISO mode is Inferno. And then go back, go to USB devices and change this to a memory stick. So this way the memory stick will come up on your computer instead of the UMD disk. And then go back and back again. And now your PSP will boot up once again. And so you can plug in your USB cable, go to USB connection. And if we go back over to the PC, we can see that our USB or uh, PSP shows up as normal. So if you want to, so once you made a backup of the games, Lego Batman, you just copy it over into the ISO folder. So just drag it over. Uh, if you don't have the ISO folder, just create an ISO folder, make sure it's all capital letters. And so yeah, that's that's it for the video. Um, I'll, I'll probably make some more PSP videos in a bit when I find some cool stuff for it. But yeah, that's about it. Thanks for watching and bye bye.